everyone at Doshwans27 channel. This is Vincent Vukovic from DICE letting you guys know about the latest huge update to Battlefield 4. It has been exactly one year since Broken Failed 4 beta launch for you suckers, I mean premium members. Well, we finally got the Battlefield 4 game you guys are supposed to get. It only took an additional 12 months. This patch has been dubbed the Fall Patch, and no, I'm not talking about that stupid Movember shit where people just grow patches of hair on their face for no fucking reason. Everybody already knows about cancer, you don't have to raise awareness about it. The list of changes that came over from the paid for the gamma test, I mean CTE program, is longer than Ron Jeremy's dick. It spans two forum posts for fuck's sake because of character limit. Now let's get right into it. Since you guys are always griping that Battlefield 3 is better, we improve soldier movement to closely match that of Battlefield 3 while still maintaining animation fidelity of Battlefield 4. Speaking of BF3, we changed the jets to have the camera like in Battlefield 3 so you could see who's pounding you doggy style. I don't know why we didn't copy paste these things from Battlefield 3 much like the rest of this game was. Instead of actually fixing the netcode like you battle loggers complain we don't do, we just simply tweak the high latency indicator to give players a better idea of when they're experiencing lag. Hey, if this was in Black Ops 2 it would be going off all the time. We also reduce the time it takes to display the incoming damage indicator. This way you appear to be 1.125 shot instead of 1 shot. To make this game even more noob friendly, we change visual recoil on most sites and all medium range sites to no longer be affected by animation aka visual recoil. The removed random effect has nothing to do with the real weapon recoil and doesn't affect it, but now all of you sweaty face painted battlefielders with the jungle music in the background that have been tap firing for the past year no longer need to do so. It's almost like we gave every LMG the M. 27 and ghosts effect just spray and pray baby we're not just reducing the visual recoil either suppression recoils the recoil modifier for zoom and added a 75% reduction in hipfire recall we're reducing the skill gap unlike congress for the gap between the rich and the poor we added UI options for tweaking the AVS aiming sensitivity since there's so many people that actually love the clunky controls of Destiny being different when you ADS versus when you hip fire. We made a ton of insignificant weapon animation tweaks to get the graphics guys to actually do something, including removing trigger delay from all revolvers. Have you seen those new hit markers too by the way? They're sleek, sexy, and don't change color like in that Call of Duty game nobody plays. Many weapons have had their maximum and minimum damage adjusted slightly. It may take one extra bullet to kill at extremely close range engagements and long range combat, meaning that those snakes will continue to sliver away after you light them up like candles on a birthday cake. Now to emphasize the peasantry of our now easy mode gun mechanics, annoying ass grenades like the V40 minis and RGO impacts are now less in both frequency and potency, kinda like farts after a colonic. However, we did make the flashbang so powerful it's like looking through Stevie Wonder's sunglasses. We made like an episode of Hoarders and reduced the amount of clutter on your HUD when you ADS, like those stupid fucking objectives that everyone else is always running towards, and so you could further ignore that flashing ammo icon on your minimap. We updated the player icon to show a slowman shield when using the health reduction perk so you don't bitch anymore when he absorbs more to the face than Kirsty Mack. And I'm referring to her porn work, not her getting her ass kicked. Come on now, we here at DICE are a classy bunch who would never make an inappropriate domestic abuse joke. What do you think we are, the NFL for fuck's sake? We put a final countdown like a bad 80s song on the defibrillator icon so you can now choose who will die like those supposed Obamacare death panels. And it now plays a sound when you're all charged up so you can yell CLEAR just like those shitty MD sitcoms. We fixed a rare issue where a second commander would spawn over the already existing one in a certain scenario, resulting in two commanders on the same team playing a real-time strategy game inside of an FPS instead of buying an actual one like Command & Conquer. 
We fixed an issue where battle pickups would sometimes get dropped immediately after picking them up, and battle pickups couldn't be picked up when other soldiers are nearby. We never ran into these issues because the battle pickups are about as useful as fallopian tubes on lesbian, and no one ever tested it. We fixed a crash related to the riot shield, and I don't mean the dirt bikes hitting back into you after smacking them against the wall with the shield and killing you. Added functionality to be able to shoot when falling, but not jumping. We still have to be realistic now. Come on, people. We fixed an exploit on Operation Locker so you can't climb in the fucking walls on sea or near the U.S. base on Metro. And you can't get into that weird area under the map on Dawnbreaker that shows off the kit selection room. We got tattoos that say, Dice Hearts Rush. New rules and layouts are on most of the vanilla maps to make Rush more like Battlefield 3, see a theme here, and not be the shittiest game mode in Battlefield 4. This is how we plan on making our game last longer than just one year, by completely redoing this game mode. For instance, Flood Zone, which is one of the only good Rush maps, is now played backwards such that nobody gets past the second set of objectives ever. And we overestimated the effectiveness of all you level 130 shit buckets in those helicopters, so attackers on Hainan Resort will now have boats, LAVs, and Amtraks instead of little birds and transport choppers. Apparently you fuckers can camp in an AH-6 all game in Conquest, but when you actually have to PTFO on Rush, it's just impossible for you. We disabled the commander on Rush game mode for all maps and made 100 tickets the default Rush ticket value so now you could farm spawns even more so than before. More game mode changes include increasing the chain link game mode round timer to 30 minutes. The ticket to bleed rate has also been changed to be 40% slower so that matches last longer than the Humphreys Kardashian marriage. In Obliteration, we fixed an issue where the round would end while the barm is armed due to the timer running out, which has caused more ties than an English Premier League weekend. And, unlike some other FPS games, we actually fixed the spawns on TDM so that opposite teams won't initially spawn too close to one another. Now that just begs the question, why do people play TDM in Battlefield anyways? With all of these fixes, there cannot be anything we possibly miss in this massive 2 gigabytes patch. Wait, what? Your class is still reset every time you leave a server to revert to a setup from months ago? Well, fuck. We've got to keep ourselves employed somehow.